Hi, I'm Anaya Downer, and since me and my teacher, Ms. Magano, both love Harry Potter, I'm going to be reading a little bit of the chapter diagonally in Harry Potter, The First of Stone. Three up, two across, he muttered. Right, stand back, Harry. He tapped the wall three times with the front of his umbrella. The brick he had touched quivered. It wriggled in the middle of the small hole, a pier. It grew wider and wider a second later. They were facing an archway, large enough even for Hagrid. An archway onto a cobbled street which twisted and turned out of sight. Welcome, said Hagrid, to Diagon Alley. He grinned at Harry's amazement. They stepped through the archway. Harry looked quickly over his shoulder and saw the archway shrink instantly back into a solid wall. The sun shone brightly on the stack of cauldrons outside the nearest shop. Cauldrons, all sizes. Copper, brass, pewter, silver, silk, gray, collapsible, said the sign. Can't get over them. Yeah, you'll be needing one, said Hagrid. But we gotta get your money first. Harry wished he had about eight more eyes. He turned his head in every direction as they walked up the street, trying to look at everything at once. The shops, the things outside of them, the people wearing their shops. A plump woman outside of the apothecary was shaking her head as they passed, saying, Diagon, dragon liver, 16 sickles an ounce. They're mad. A low soft pudding came from a dark shop with a sign saying, I don't know, Owl Emporium. Tawny, screeched, brown, brown, and snowy. Some of the boys brought him. About Harry's age, had their noses pressed against the window with broomsticks inside of it. Look! Harry heard one of them say, the new Nimbus 2000, fast as ever. There were shops selling robes, shops selling telescopes and strange silver instruments Harry had never seen before, windows stacked with barrels of bats, planes and needles eyes, tottering piles of spell books, quills and rolls of parchment, potion bottles, globes of blue, green gods, said Haggard. They had reached a snowy white building which towered, which towered over the little shops Standing beside its burnished bronze doors, wearing a uniform of scarlet and gold. Yeah, that's the goblin, said Hagrid quietly as they walked up the white stone steps towards him. The goblin was about a head shorter than Harry. He had a swarthy, clever face and a, point, a pointed beard, and Harry noticed very long fingers and feet. He bowed as they walked aside, never even facing a second pair of doors, silver this time, with words engraved upon them. Enter Granger, the take head of what wastes sin agreed. For those who take but do not earn must pay most dearly in their turn. So if you seek beneath our floors a treasure, a treasure that was never yours, thief, you have been warned, beware of finding more than treasure there. Like I said, you'd be mad to try and rob it, said Hagrid.